sunshine on a cloudy day is like playing kickball in the rain and if you walk into a store that smells like old people in more well you are out of thrift store you'll always find a cool short and rock one but it makes you check out a holiday because it might smell like shit yeah you are out of thrift store you'll find a cool short and a rock one but it makes you check out a holiday that you don't want to smell like you know good times you are out of thrift store you'll find a cool short and a rock one what I really feel fortunate about being an artist um, is that I can do what I want to do, what appeals to me, and you know, and put it on display, and other people like it as much as I do. I got really interested in street art style um, when Shepard Ferry, Old Bay Giant, first really came about. And it was just something to me that was very interesting because it wasn't using brushes to, to create. We were using, you know, doing wheat paste and stencils and things like that. So I was it just really was really attracted to it. Get out of here. We don't want you anymore. Get out of here. We don't want you. First of really getting into like street art. I would see guys that had their names, and I really didn't know where that came from or anything, but I was like, something that's, to me, I'm very skeptical of everything until I get a chance to research it and learn it for myself, so it was just one of those things where I was like, oh, that's, I like the way that sounds and what the word means. I first realized I wanted to be an artist, um, probably as a child. My parents really encouraged me and would buy like, you know, little kid paint sets and stuff. And my high school art teacher, she really was, was in a very rural area. So she you know, was like, you should go check out uh, advertising. As I hear the organs to a Y song I've got it wrong, I think it says I switched the two around It's not my fault though I reply to myself Cause I'm college bound I um, went to school for graphic design And was hired at Fossil As a graphic designer And uh, one of the guys that was a watch designer Saw me in the break room one day Drawing like graffiti style stuff In a, in a notebook And so he asked me Could I draw a watch? A lot of people don't, you know, really wear watches anymore for time telling. It is strictly for fashion because even if you have a watch on, you still look at yourself. And I mean, it's just, it's ingrained. Um, wearable technology is uh, those watches, but they were products that I worked on with Fossil, when I worked at Fossil, and we worked with um, Palm <clears throat> and Sony Ericsson, and trying to make uh, watches that were cool, like fashion-wise, but also were Palm Pilot. Um, there was a watch that I designed from Diesel that um, it uses three watch movement, two analog watch movements and a digital movement and it sparked a new category for diesel with a new price point, uh, an elevated price point. So that helped the brand and um, in Australia I got watch of the year for that watch. a monthly show with Raw Austin at the Belmont. Um, it's a third Thursday every month. Started in LA, um, Raw and then they expanded to different cities. Um, what they do is it's a one night show. There's artists exhibiting, there's live art being created, um, live fashion like hair and makeup, 
and then the local fashion designers. So, and then there's models that come and do uh, do the runway, and then they have um, two to three live bands and a DJ. Um, 